Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm going to continue with um, looking at Raspberry Pi Model 5 with the Model 3 camera. And um, we look at all the projects I've done so, so far. Um, we'll go, we're going down the list until we get to cameras. And we've already uh, covered some of this. And I showed you my previous uh, desktop arrangement. Well, I've added to that uh, this configuration. So it's um, similar to the previous one, but it uses a um, uh, high quality telephoto lens on the Raspberry Pi. So you can see that on the left. So uh, uh, have a look at the hardware. Um, Continuing to use Raspberry Pi Model 5. So um, while I'm using the... Um, let's have a look at the other cameras that I'm using. I'm using the uh, Model 3 camera, but I'm also using the high-quality camera together with a 8mm um, telephoto lens. And... Uh, that goes on to a M12 mount. And uh, there's one arrangement of it. We've already covered um, the camera commands and most of the um, Python camera. So we've covered all of this in our previous uh, video. So um, just having a look down. Perhaps the um, only thing I didn't show you before was uh, time-lapse. So we might actually have a look at that. And um, we'll go across. So what, what I'm going to do is um, take this command. Okay, let's have a look at, at a different view of the mind map. Uh, this one doesn't jump around so much. So um, we're at um, cameras. And we're going to look at a couple of extra things that I did with Python cameras. The first one will be time lapse. And uh, we'll go into that one. So um, we might just uh, increase the size so you can see it. So um, here we go. Okay, the objective is to take 50 images uh, over 50 seconds. And I'm going to do this... Um, on the uh, Raspberry Pi Model 5, uh, no virtual environment, and the um, operating system will be bookworm. So uh, the software is a Python program, and uh, we can have a look at the code of it. Here it is here. Um, what we can do is um, go across to the Raspberry Pi and see that code directly. So, um, I'm going to use VNC, and now you can see my Raspberry Pi uh, desktop. So I'll close that, and I'll close the uh, other window on the Raspberry Pi. And we'll go back to, we'll find out where the path is for this time lapse. Go back to the Raspberry Pi. And we'll go down to software. We've got the file and the path of that is on projects four. So we go back to the Raspberry Pi, select projects four. And I'm going, we've just done this before. So what I'm going to do is um, delete all those. And I'm going to um, run the program again. So we'll go to um, Bonnie. Uh, we'll have a look at our Python program. There we go. You can see that here. And I'm using the um, Pi Camera 2 library and a very simple program that just goes through this loop here and captures an image and um, adds 
the uh, time to that. So uh, let's run it and see what happens. So it's now running the program. And it's capturing the images. You can see that now. It's capturing those images. And if I um, open up, here we go. You can see the images are being added on. So we might actually have a look at see what those images look like. Here we go. Uh, it's capturing images as we go now. I might actually change the position. So we're on time lapse. We'll look at a more recent one. Okay, so that's our uh, time lapse um, program. We'll go back to the mind map. And that executed quite well, and we got the uh, the results of that. Uh, we might go and have a look at some of my other um, programs. Video streaming worked quite well, so we'll uh, we'll go to that one, find out where it is, and we'll close the other one down. So the objective here is to uh, stream video onto my home network with um, M. JPEG and the hardware is a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it'll be a Raspberry Pi with a bookworm and no um, environment, virtual environment. So we'll find out where it is. And the program is on uh, Projects 5 and it's um, it should be virtual systems. So we've got the virtual systems is correct there, but we've got the wrong name here. We'll have to change that. Go back to the Raspberry Pi. We'll uh, close that down. And we'll close this one down. And we'll go to uh, Projects 5. And here is our um, camera program. We'll open that up. And we'll run it. And it should now be broadcasting uh, to our, um, so the IP address is 10.1.0.1.1.1. 10 and uh, that's going to be at 8,000. Here we go. So um, there's my Raspberry, uh, there's my model. And we're now streaming over the um, home network some video. We'll just add a mate to him. Okay, so uh, that worked out quite well. We'll go back to our um, program here, switch it off, and turn that one off, and have a look at our mind map. So um, we did video streaming quite well. And we'll have a look at some of these other ones. These are uh, interesting. I've done the timestamp, controls, and Zoom. We might actually have a look at the Zoom program. So the path for that is uh, on Projects 3, and it's Zoom 1. We'll go to our Raspberry Pi, open our Projects, go to Projects, and we're looking for Zoom there's our Zoom program, and we'll open up the um, IDE for Python and run it. And now you can see that it's zooming in on Fred. So we'll just close him down now. So uh, zooming went quite well, and we'll uh, go back to our mind map and have a look at um, another program. Another one was focusing, that work, worked out okay. And perhaps, and um, we'll have a look at motion. So motion here, uh, the part, we'll get the path of that first, find out where it is. It's motion one, and it's on project seven. So we'll go back to um, our Raspberry Pi, and shut down the previous ones. And we're looking for Project 7. And already collected a fair bit of videos already on Motion. 
So uh, I'm going to um, delete all of these. It's been quite busy acting as a security camera. Okay, so um, I want to go to motion. And what I'm going to do here is run it. We'll have a look at the program. Uh, here's our libraries. We've now introduced another library, NumPy. Uh, and you can see the program. Uh, not a long program. And um, we'll run it, see what happens. So we'll run that program. Not much happening until I actually go in and put my hand in front of the camera and it's um, recording new motion as I put my hand back and forward. And that's uh, detecting motion of anything in front of the camera. So we'll stop that now. And it's collected a couple of... Um, already so as i there's the pictures when i've um, put my hand in front of the camera okay uh, i think there's one other one that we can have a look at and that's merging so high dynamic range we'll um have a look at that we're going to merge just a couple this is a um a simple example and again no virtual environment and the libraries cv2 and um, numpy and we've got these on projects 8 uh, hdr1 go back to our raspberry pi close down the previous program and we'll go to projects 8 and here's our project and we'll run it here's our code again you can see our code down here a bit longer than the previous one but what we're doing we're actually capturing and writing uh normal and merge so what we'll do is run it and it's running that now and we can go and have a look at the two it would have taken those pictures by now so we'll uh, close it down and here's our um, normal picture. We'll just open that up. Just here. That's our normal picture. And we're going to look at the merge picture where we've got three exposures. So um, perhaps you could, we can have a look at both of those together. So that's um, normal. And there's merge. Just bring that up so you can see it. Doesn't look like a, a lot of difference, but it um, it's improving the dynamic range of our uh, image. Okay, so um, it's, that's it for the time being, and we'll cover more on OpenCV in the next video.